I saw Metallica open for you guys at the Found Casino in Jersey in like 82 or 83. Yeah. I think it was right after Kill 'Em All record came out. And then you guys wound up touring with them over in, uh, over in Europe. I guess when Stay Hungry first came out. Yeah, I didn't even know that Metallica had opened for us. I don't know of any of their albums yet. I know they had just come from the West Coast. Uh, I think Mustaine may have still been in the band. Johnny yeah. Z brought him over, and I was in the back doing my makeup, which I was always doing. And uh, when we toured uh, in Europe together, uh, and you know, they said, "Hey, we opened up for you guys," and I was like, "Really?" You know, I had no idea. <laughs> but this is my. This is like you know. This is under the heading of nobody gets it right all the time. I clearly remember standing on the side of the stage watching Metallica with Mark Mendoza, and turning to him and said. You know, these guys got a lot of heart, but they're never going to go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've said that. I, I'll tell you, I said when I was the... Uh, Johnny, when Kill 'Em All came out, knocked on the door of my radio show, which was going when that record came out in 83, and asked me to play this band that no one would play. And it was Kill 'Em All. And I, I was honest, and I said this in my book. When I, I love to tell people I heard the future that night, but nobody heard anything like that then. When Hit the Lights came out, I didn't know what that was. I was like... Yeah, maybe they'll go somewhere. We'll see, Johnny. Good luck with them. You know, you don't. It, it, was, it was hard to decipher what that was. That was the roots and the beginning of thrash. Nobody, oh, yeah. knew, nobody knew what that was. And, and I have the greatest respect for that band because you know they just were uncompromising and refused to cater to the whims of what was going on with the music scene. Uh, you know, I would say you look at you know Twist Sisters album distributed by WEA. You see who distributed Metallica's records, and there was a block of text like this big. They had little deals with a gazillion different people, because no big label would, no big company would take them, oh. you know, and they, or they weren't willing to compromise to get a big company to take them. A lot of respect. For them.